Welcome back to Outriders. In this video I want to talk to you about something else that actually needs fixing and I'd say pretty quick. Yes, the inventory wipe should have been priority. They have now given, I'd say, extra details on the restoration because they haven't guaranteed that it's going to work successfully. They haven't given an exact date on when that's going to actually take place. But I've seen more and more comments of people having connection issues and it wouldn't be regarding the game or anything, it's based on the P2P servers. Issues within groups has always been a problem, ever since the game, even the demo, started. The more people in your group, the more issues you are, I'm going to say likely to have, because obviously not everybody experiences them. There are a lot of like random issues and stuff happening in the game as well, and when they announced the, like, when they gave details on the restoration, they said that patches and bug fixes and stuff will be coming at a later date. So I don't even think they've started working on that stuff yet. So a couple of issues from a community post I put out. Someone attempted a mission eight times to actually complete it because the enemies kept failing to spawn in or they kept getting stuck. On the Kemplant expedition, I always have enemies getting stuck in the stairs. People are still being dashboarded all the time. And sometimes if you have two abilities going at the same time, the controller won't fire your guns and you have to like unplug your controller and plug it back in to get them back to firing. When someone was in expeditions, they loaded in and it was like a spectator mode. They couldn't see anything on screen but the other two players that were playing and they had to hit F2 on their keyboard for their character to actually show up. I had that with a black screen as well. I had it to where I had to go into my inventory then come back out to see anything. It literally kept me in a black screen for about five minutes. Someone else mentions lag when doing expeditions. Someone said on the final boss fight there's a bug where upon channeling of the sand tentacle attack you'll be immediately hit the second he starts channeling for the attack and given no chance to dodge at all. And then when I did the campaign skip video that a lot of you disliked I actually had a lot of lag playing through that. My friend Kev was hosting. My connection seemed to be okay, but Kev was all over the place. Colin, one of the members on the channel, his nephew was level 22, completed a mission, got disconnected, loaded back into the game to only be level 18. And then Prep, another member on the channel, loaded the game and went out and did his own thing, went and done two hours worth of shopping and stuff, went home and saw that the game was still trying to sign him in. A lot of the time, especially on PlayStation, when you try signing in, it will sit there at the sign-in screen and it will say you're signed in, but it will never load you into the lobby. There is a workaround of restarting the game and attempting that five or ten times, but a lot of people are sitting there for upwards of ten minutes trying to log into the game and it just doesn't take them to the lobby. And with them saying the restoration's coming, they've done the inventory wipe fix supposedly, even though I've had a couple of people say they've still been wiped ever since that patch come into the game. With all of that, the only like bug fixes they've spoken about are actually upcoming at some date that nobody knows. So I'm going to guess that this restoration might happen by the end of the week, maybe next week or something, and then they're going to start working on bug fixes, and then maybe two or three weeks later they will uh, actually get around to fixing some things. Like that's, It's a total estimate. Nothing's guaranteed. But I have a feeling it's going to be around or over a month until the sign-in issues have even been acknowledged by the devs. Like, I mean, to be fair, when I say acknowledged, they know that they're happening, but I mean for anything to be done with them. The sign-in issues, mostly on PlayStation. The connection issues, that's I'm pretty sure every platform... People having random weird stuff happen. I mentioned in another video that someone had black boxes popping up on their screen when they were like just trying to run through and play the game. They had these random like gear boxes pop up that didn't have a level or anything. They were just black. And there was like three of them on the video I showed. And it took up a big portion of their game screen. So there are still tons and tons of issues and bugs and stuff in this game. Mods are still not working properly. The downscaling is atrocious. I would say to the core, this game is broken. Like some people are going to experience issues less than others. I've had so many people in the comments, oh, but I've not experienced any problems. And the amount of times I've had to reply, yeah, but you don't count for the whole world. People are having problems on this game, whether those fanboys and stuff want to admit it or not. 
And I mean, even some people with proof of issues happening, like sharing them on Twitter and Reddit and stuff, even when you can see it with your own eyes from their gameplay, people will still tell you that there's nothing wrong with the game. So this stuff needs fixing. This is an always online game, yet the game isn't actually always online. You're forced to have an internet connection to play this, and the servers don't work how they should. In my opinion, this needs to go, like, after that restoration, this needs to go even before the appreciation package. This needs to be urgent fixes because people are having to restart their game on PlayStation five or ten times just to load into the game. And other people, especially the people not restarting the game constantly, they are having to sit there upwards of 15, 20 minutes sometimes. As I said, Prep sat there for two hours. Well, they didn't sit there when they did shopping and stuff, but you get what I'm saying. But on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it.